I can't go to sleep because I'm an insomniac. Yeah. But the only thing that could put me out is is smoking weed. And this has been going back and forth with me because the next day I feel groggy How or not motivated. How old are you? I'm 29. I look like I'm 49 because of the beer, but I'm, I'm 29. No, you just you smell like pot. Do I smell like no, pot? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got so nervous. I got so nervous oh, right now. Oh man. Oh, I just took it out. Just took it out. Dude, you weren't even just, looking at me. So I was like, dude, he doesn't even want his nose to be directed okay. at me. All right, all right. Look, look, to, to that point, that's a beautiful guy. God bless your mother. You know what I mean? And, and again, it's just, it's, it's self-reflecting in, in what it is. But I, when I was your age, I smoked weed to go to sleep. I drank every night. You know what I mean? It's like I, I eventually be got to a place where, where, like, if I like eat the wrong thing at the wrong time, it will affect my sleep. You know, it'll affect, and I track it like through the numbers so I can see what it is. I track. You become so optimized, and you become, it, you fall in love with the feeling of feeling amazing all the time. That you know when you know. I just went to Cabo, and you know. I, it took me five days to recover. And and I had to fight through, like, for as optimized as I am, just drinking, you know, four days in a row, put my mind into this place of questioning all these things. I had to keep telling myself, wait till uh, you get through the weekend. When you get back in your rhythm, don't make any decisions this week. I was being short wow. with the people that worked with me. Like, like I had the awareness of, like, hey, if you're going to, like, go on vacation, and normally I create, like, literally a recovery period after vacation, uh, so I don't make any bad decisions or whatever it may be. But that's like when you get to this level of like optimization, it, it just becomes much more nuanced as in in what the output is in your quality of life. And it's like, you think how we look at Tom Brady of like, oh, this is insane. This guy's so committed. Like it's so much discipline. And like, but getting to like that level of discipline and optimization in all aspects of my life, I realized like, oh, you're not, It's it goes from, you know, you create systems, you get super consistent, they become habits, those habits become simply a way of life and intuitively how you operate. I'm not trying to be disciplined. Uh, I just am because of the systems and the way that I built my life. And how you long know? you've done it for. I think that's the most important right. message. The, it's to the, the time. How did you yeah. miss? Because people are going to see you Talking about look, they've already turned it off. Checking. They've no, they already turned it off. No, they haven't. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> Listen to me. Our audience they've is already super turned it off. Elevated, Rob. <laughs> Listen to me. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.